morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, and today I'm reviewing one gap that I looked at today, which I had looked at last night, that I didn't think was good enough to go long today. It did have one bullish move in it, but as you can see here, the body of the bar today in this is now red with a topping tail and a bottoming tail. It was a very choppy morning in the market. I actually didn't do any trades today. That was a good decision. One of the things about being in the trading room with me is that there's days where I say, we're not gonna trade. And then it's up to the people that are in the room whether you listen to me or not. You know, I've been trading for eight years and there's days where I see the market or gaps and I can tell whether it's gonna be a choppy day or there's nothing to do. And one of the key things about today was that there was absolutely no gaps today to the downside, which I prefer to do, that rated per my system 20 points or more. And there was no gaps to the upside that rated per my system to go long 20 points or more. So there was no trades that were quality golden gaps today to go long or short. Very unusual, but it is June Someone pointed out in the room is options expiration as well today. So we didn't do any trades. I think it is important to have a system to direct you where the best pick is. And also the system tells you when there isn't anything to do at all. So you don't lose money. I wanna make money every day I trade, but some days I can't trade. And today was one of those days where I didn't do a trade. It's unusual because it was you know, a Friday and usually Mondays are the slowest days of the week but I saved us today, I kept us out of trouble, and there was absolutely no gaps today that rated 20 points or more. The great thing about my system is it really tells you when there's something to do, and if the gap doesn't rate 20 points or more per the 26 point rating system, then you don't do it. You don't do it, and you don't trade if you can't find anything that rates well. Now I'm gonna briefly go over Oracle here because I do like this chart, uh, and, it, and it could have set up today, but it didn't do what I really wanted it to do into the open. Into the open here, I wanted it to hold 39.50 and then immediately go, and it didn't. It broke the low, came down. It had one setup in here, which, which, which I didn't do, and I didn't call in here because how would you have even known to even go long this in here that it would hold when it's broken the low 17 times? So this is not even a number that makes sense. It's very, very squishy, and it's based on the fact that the gap really wasn't a quality gap. One of the things that quality gaps that rate 20 points or more give you is confirmation that you're going to get a quality entry. You can't just do every bicep and everything and every cell setup and everything that exists. And you can't just do any candlestick formation in every stock or gap that exists. This is a very important point that I teach in the class. When you're getting the rating, the 20 point or more rating, okay, rating between 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, or 26, that is also telling you not only the directional bias for the gap, but it's also telling you that it's going to have a exact entry and setup. One that's going to hold, one that's going to go to one of the targets, even if it's just the first target or the second target or the dream target, it'll go to one of the targets at an entry that will hold with a stop and make sense. There was no entry that made sense really in Oracle today. And I said to everyone, there's probably rallies today, but you can't be aggressive. It probably does it late, which is exactly what happened. This is set up very, very late here, 945, rallied over the high at 1015, and now it's back down red again. So nothing that this doing makes any sense to trade today. This would have been much, much better if it had gapped farther, actually, but it didn't do it. Last night it was up over 40, 40, 10. It looked good, but then it kind of pitted in, opened this morning looking worse, and it just didn't do anything that made any sense here today except for have one move, which, like I said, was not quick. And as you know, I like to trade and do the fast trades into the open. That's most of the times when institutions are taking positions on or off. And it just wasn't there enough in Oracle today. So this could have very well, though, have follow through on Monday. It looks a lot better for a play on Monday if it sets up right. So this is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh. If you'd like more information on the next Golden Gap class, it is June 25th and 26th. Today is the last day of the special I'm offering to do the trading room free to the end of the year. If you sign up for the Golden Gap class today, by 5 o'clock Eastern time, you will receive the trading room free to the end of the year. That's a huge amount of time in the room. Seven months in the room to get my calls. And today was a great day, great example to keep you out of trouble to do nothing today. And, and really, part of the beauty of my system is also telling you the quality pick and gap 
but also to know that you're going to get an entry in it that makes sense, that you can feel the level of conviction to take the risk and take the trade and put in the entry and put in the stock. And even though this had setups in it today, they weren't quality, nothing held right into the open because of the fact that it just wasn't a good gap. And that's why I didn't do it. And if this was a good bullish gap, I would have gone long it myself. It just wasn't. So have a great day, everyone. Have a great weekend, gorgeous weekend here in New York. Enjoy yourselves. If you want to sign up for the special and expires today, just email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information.